All right, hey YouTubers. So um, we have finally gotten the official, uh, we'll call it CPU user benchmark uh, ranking for the Intel i5-9400F, uh, which if you've checked out my channel, you realize that I have uh, owned this for quite a while now. Um, I, did, I had really good um, scores as far as the processor did. Uh, unfortunately, the other stuff is not as awesome as uh, the averages um, for the uh, the gaming desktop and workstation, and that's that's to blame for not having uh, the operating system on an SSD um, and uh, my graphics card, uh, which is decent, does not compare uh, to what some of these other guys are throwing at it. So. You'll see the ranking now. Um, because of this, I actually think this is a much better deal, um, an even better deal right now. If you go to uh, Newegg and Amazon, and there's an Amazon link down below, um, it's on sale for either $175 or $179, so uh, go get you one. And then team this with, uh, in my opinion, the Gigabyte H310M uh, Space Alpha or Space A. Um, motherboard for $55 and you'll be pretty happy with it. Now you do need an 8th gen chip um, most likely to flash the BIOS because I'm sure when you buy that motherboard it'll be an old uh, BIOS on there. Um, so I've, I did that uh, successfully and uh, I actually ordered a second one uh, because I have another I have another 8th gen chip here um, and either I'm going to sell that one on eBay, eBay and hopefully make a profit or I'm going to get another ninth gen chip. So we shall see. But uh, getting back to this video. So you see they've got rank 37th. Now let's go over to the right and see what chips um, they are saying this is uh, better than. Well, and the ones that are in the vicinity. So um, you've got an old uh, i5, uh, which is probably one of the souped up ones. Um, almost as good as the uh, Intel Core i7 7700K. That's pretty nice. Now, what is actually worse than this? Um, AMD Ryzen 7 1800X. So that's the first gen of that. AMD Ryzen 5 2600X, which actually was one I thought about buying. Um, so they're priced uh, comparatively. And I'm sure if I click on this, which I'm going to do, it's probably got a greater multi-core score, uh, which may have meant that uh, for a lot of the stuff I'm doing, it would be better. Yeah. So you get the greater single core, a better quad core, which is going to help you gamers, but then the multi-core for those of us that use uh, um, productivity, not productivity software, but uh, CAD, um, uh, I think Photoshop and then uh, HitFilm Pro all benefit from a better multi-core uh, score. At least that's what I've seen from my experience. All right, so um, so there's one that it actually supposedly beats, though I would uh, almost argue uh, the difference in the workstation that that's probably a better, that may be a better chip, and quite possibly I should have bought that one. All right, so let's see what else. Um, not as good as the i5-8600. That's not surprising. And the 9600, and that's not even with the K. Um, so if you got an extra, you know, 40 to 70 bucks to spend, uh, you will be happier with that, it would appear. So um, it does beat out the 8500, which is priced more. That's good. And the old i5-7600K. Um, nice. And this other chip I had thought about buying was this Intel Core i3-8350K, uh, which I think has a higher single core score. Um, for you gamers out there, this i3 is possibly a better chip for you, and it's uh, slightly cheaper. So just keep that in mind when you are looking at CPUs that it may benefit you to uh, to buy that one for gaming. Um, Alright, what else? Let's go back in here. 
So the 8600K, which was one of those ones I thought about buying, um, it uh, it crushes the 9400K, as you can expect. And then even the 9600K, um, even that much better. So here's a case where if you had another $80, it's probably worth spending it uh, to get this one. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's where the uh, where CPU benchmark or user benchmark is saying the Intel i5 9400 Foxtrot falls. Um, and you know some of these things, I, I wish they would do this different. Where you could, if you really cared about single core, you could go in and rank them by that. Then if you really cared about quad core, um, you can rank them by that. And then for the other people that care about multi-core, uh, rank them by that. And then you would probably get, uh, you'd end up with a different, three different uh, rating scales. So there are some flaws to this uh, CPU user benchmark. Um, but yeah, on the right, you see what my scores were, which are actually higher um, than what's in here. So that uh, that's kind of surprising, but uh, these scores are worse, so go figure. All right, thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.